And I didn't have the heart to tell him I wasn't Italian, right? Because it seemed kind of cool to be Italian for a little while. Until they started speaking Italian to me. <laughs> then I just looked like I was retarded, you know? Because they're walking out to me on the street. I say, Signore, su dove cosa dici? Pasco donde? Pascatini, ma ridotti, brigiti. Camerion, brigiti, ridotti. Si. Then when I told the guy I was Indian, he would freak out. Indiano? No, Indiano. In no, Indiano. Mario, che cazzo va Indiano? No, no, Indiano. Like I told him I was a friggin' ghost or something. No. Because they can't picture Indian people that are just normal over there, you know? In their heads, Indian people are... And we show up and shatter their miserable dream for them. <laughs> you guys get a chance to go to Italy, it's cool, man. You don't even need to learn how to speak Italian, that's the good part. All you need to do is learn how to read their hand signals. Because every word in Italian has a hand signal that goes with it. Everything. It's like they all used to be deaf at some point, you know? Everything. Hey, 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 down here, hey. What the fuck? Did you know that? I swear to God, this in Italian, you know what this means? This is what the fuck in Italian. Right here, this little hand motion is what the fuck. They'll look at you and they'll go, hey! This is what the fuck in Italian. You know what this means in Indian? You want to eat? You want to eat. Imagine an Italian guy walking into an Indian restaurant. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. Buffet is over there. And you watch your language. Or somebody gonna get hurt real bad. My Chinese friends, you all right over there? How you doing, bro? Didn't you try and sell me a purse earlier? Just kidding. Just kidding. What's your name? No, the Chinese guy. You're the black guy. But you know, whatever makes you happy, you know what I mean? And my Chinese friend, what's your name, sir? Anthony, that's what I thought when I looked at you. <laughs> looked right at me. That's an Anthony right there. That's a... Do you have a Chinese name as well, Anthony? Yeah, I do. What's your Chinese name? Should I say it with the Chinese? Say it, you know, proper. However, Chinese people would say your name. <laughs> I don't, not, and don't go, Anthony! I don't want that. You know I, mean? I want it. I want it. I'm on the proper Chinese version! What's the Chinese name? Top Sun Bong. Top Sun Bong? Doesn't that mean you're going to get high? Hey, you want a Top Sun Bong? <laughs> That's a wicked name, man. Top Sun Bong. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong or not, but it, this is the way it is now. You know? Sounds cooler than Anthony. Unless you're Anthony by day and tap some bong by night. You'd be like a, like a Chinese superhero, man. It's Chinaman. He got two chopsticks on his shirt. Shooting noodles out of his wrist. Catching bad guys with stale fortune cookies. <laughs> Confucius say. You go to jail, bad boy. I did shows in Hong Kong. I went to Hong Kong last year, man. That was wicked. Hong Kong's a wicked place. I think Chinese people are like the smartest people in the world, man. They're tricking us all. They are, man. They are not dumb people. They pretend to not know English. I went to Hong Kong, they all speak English over there. 
everybody, and they speak better English than we speak. I'm in this guy's store, I go, you know what, me and my friend will come back. He goes, yo, friend and I. I'm like, well, if you and him want to come back too, that's fine, but, uh... And not dumb people, man. Don't be fooled. They're playing you. You know, you know, it really upset me, though, when I went to Hong Kong. Everywhere you go in the world and perform, wherever I go, they have a local comedian open the show for us. I go to South Africa, they get South Africa. I go to England, they get English comedian. Went to Hong Kong, I kept picturing in my head a Chinese comedian. I get there, no Chinese comedian. I was so upset. Because I kept picturing a Chinese comedian, you know? Little Chinese brother running out, opening up the shore. Hey! Hey! Excuse me. Your mother is so fat. When she jumped for joy, she got stuck. Okay, thank you. Didn't happen, didn't happen. Very upsetting. Oh, man. I'm going to let out a secret about Indian people. For all the people here, or all the people watching, whoever, wherever you are, if you're not Indian, this is a message to you on behalf of all Indian people. I hope my brown people don't get upset that I'm letting out our secret. <laughs> but just so you guys know, Indian people are fully aware of what their accent sounds like. <laughs> we don't actually need you. We know exactly what it sounds like. We know it's not the coolest accent in the world, you know? You're never going to see two Indian guys in a club standing around going, Hey man, aren't we cool? Don't, don't we sound really hip? We are going to meet all the bitches tonight. I'm pimping. You know, it's not going to happen, you know? We know what it sounds like, you know? And don't think for one minute that we don't know that you're mocking us when we're not around. It's an accent. We're not deaf. Don't think when we walk into Home Depot and go, hello, I'm looking for paint. Yeah, it's right down that aisle over there, sir. <laughs> hey, Jim, did you hear that guy? He's looking for paint. 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 Hey, let's go have a cigarette and talk like this for half an hour. Huh? We know you're doing it, you bastards. But Indian people know what their accent's good for and what it's not good for. We know its limitations. You know what I mean? We know it's not good for, for getting laid. It's not going to help you. Hello, baby. Nothing's going to happen for you. But you know what the Indian accent is good for? Cutting tension. You got a tense situation, pop in the Indian accent. Tension's gone. Picture a serious courtroom drama. <laughs> Your Honor, my client would like to plead guilty. <laughs> Tension's gone. But white people, let me talk to you for a minute. White Canadian people, especially. Canadian white people, when I say Canadian, I mean you're Canadian, your parents are Canadian, your grandparents are Canadian, you're really Canadian. <laughs> Canadian white people, you have an accent. And they're completely oblivious to it. You do? I don't know if you're aware of it, sir. You may not have it, you look like a rich Canadian white guy. I don't know, you know what I mean? You're a minority. But Canadian people have an accent. And it's funny when you watch white Canadian people talk, especially white Canadian guys, they have this funny ass way of talking. They talk, the way they speak, they make everything sound like it's the most matter of fact thing you've ever heard in your life. And when they talk to you, it looks like they can't control their head. It looks like they're part bobblehead when they say stuff to you. Because they'll come up to you and they'll go, Jesus Christ.
Did you get a load of the jugs on that? Look! They do. It's funny to watch. And white people are sitting there going, no, we don't have an accent. What are you talking about? I can prove to you, white folks, that you have an accent. It's a pretty bold statement for a brown man.